So you've seen me use extended symmetry with the hexagons and triangles, sixfold tiling, with the square tiling, with the equilateral triangle tiling. Can you do it with other tilings? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, this is moats, and it adds an open space around this closed structure. And we can see this clearly on the back. There's this closed little flower, and we get the open space around it. Now, I've had some realizations about exactly how the relationship between the hexagon and rhombus is related when you go from things in the middle to things on the outside. And this correlates to the relationship when you're using the hexagons and triangles sixfold tiling. Um, but the important part here is I made the hexagon bigger and therefore I made the rhombus bigger. These go hand in hand. If I wanted to make them both smaller, I would run into an issue because I can make the hexagon smaller by putting it on the back, but the rhombus has these gaps in between the pleat patterns before you can get from the front to the back. So that's a no-go on making this rhombus smaller. 